Hi, my name is Zach Lucero and welcome to the first episode of Why Ride. So ano ba meron dito? Sobrang dami. We're going to be talking about Yamaha's culture, uh, all their activities that kind of unites the riding community and so much more. So do get comfortable because this is going to be one heck of a ride. Last year, Yamaha Motor Philippines celebrated 10 years in the country. How did they kick things off this year? By bringing in this guy, Valentino Rossi and Maverick Vinales for another historic milestone. The Yamaha Monumento Station is a monumental landmark for the company, and the two MotoGP riders took time to enjoy a train ride in Manila. Then, it was off to the motorcycle capital of the Philippines, Caloocan, for some personal time with their fans. Last but not least, they were the guests of honor in the annual Yamaha dealer convention at the Seda Hotel where they also got some time in with the press. A legend, a rising star. Yamaha Racing is in good hands. And who knows, the next Yamaha superstar could come from our own tracks. The whole country is fully automatic na, and it doesn't stop there. The We Are Mio campaign strengthens the riding culture, the adventurous, the ageless, and the vibrance. Now, each Mio has its own ambassador called the Mio Lenos. There are Nadine Lustre for the Mio I125, Matteo Guidicelli for the Mio Aerox 155, Drew Aureliano for the Mio Soul I125, and today, we'll know more from Boy Band PH, who represent the all-new Mio Sporty. to be a millennial. Yeah, we're just really happy to be uh, representatives of this new generation of um, you know, forward-thinking individuals who really like to push the boundaries, you know, discover new things, and live by the folks. We are Mio! Asabo! Now it's time for the Fast Lane! Performance at its finest, normal yan sa Yamaha Grand Prix. The annual racing competition opened its ninth season in Davao. Teams from Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao, and a wild card set was formed through online voting by the fans. The dealer category saw Yamaha's business partners go up against each other for bragging rights. The rise of Filipino riders continues in this fiery battle in their very own category. Ngayon, bukod dun sa YGP, there's another competition uh, happening just a few yards away. And that's called uh, the National Technician Grand Prix, wherein they pit the best of the best Yamaha specialists. Now, the champ for that is going to be sent to Japan for the World Technician Grand Prix. Their first challenge was the customer handling test. Each technician must showcase his ability in properly explaining to the customer the problem of their motorcycle, answering their queries in full detail, and being courteous as possible during their stay in the simulated situation. Next, the practical test, a time-pressured exam that was limited to 90 minutes. This required commitment to Yamaha standards of procedures, maintenance, diagnosis, and repair. And winning the competition and representing the Philippines is Alan Ray C. Silverio from Motor Central Cabuyao. So, para dun sa mga nagnanasa na makasali sa YGP uh, or Yamaha Grand Prix, we can start with the basics first. You can check out YSRS or Yamaha Safe Riding Science Program where we teach you the basics and the fundamentals of riding a motorcycle. We are conducting the Yamaha Safe Riding Science Program under Yamaha Riding Academy nationwide and have been since 2008. We have programs for women, students and kids. We have also special programs for experienced riders. It is very important to us that our customers know the basic safety handling of their motorcycles. That's why for the rest of the year, we hope to see you in our next Yamaha Safe Riding Science activity. After you learn how to ride, now it's time to check out Yamaha's products, which were on full display at the Yamaha Motor Show held at the World Trade Center last March 23 to 25, 2018. The Millennial Rev showcased a futuristic theme with an innovative booth complete with its own AI. It also featured the Motoroid, 
a creation that moves on its own. And millennials Nadine Lustre and Boy Band PH were also there to show you how you can be unstoppable with a Yamaha Mio. So one of the highlights in the Motor Show was actually what I, I mean, what I would feel would be one of the more exciting motorcycles to come out uh, from Yamaha this year. Uh, we're talking about uh, efficiency, you're talking about performance, uh, price point, value. The Yamaha site in the recent Petron um, uh, Safety Challenge, can you imagine 129 kilometers to a liter? Ngayon lang ako nakarinig ng ganon. Para ang pumuntang Baguio, Halfway done, isang litro pa lang ako konsumo mo. Diba? Sobrang tipid. And clearly, they won that challenge in the 100cc to 150cc category. And now to speak about uh, this motorcycle more is the guy who piloted it. Uh, please welcome Robbie Malapitan. I rode the Yamaha Sight 115 fuel injection. And the record that we got on this competition was 129 kilometers per liter. We went to Bataan. We went to SBMA. Uh, we got to SBMA. The gauge never, never went down, never moved. We were surprised. We thought that the gauge was stuck at full. However, we, we continued on. And then uh, initially, when we got to the final leg, uh, the final uh, um, uh, checkpoint, we actually got the, uh, uh, the record of 129 kilometers per liter. Kudos to Yamaha for making such a fuel efficient bike. Try to test ride one, uh, measure it, then uh, yeah, that will make you a believer most probably. There you have it, the first ever episode of Why Ride. Sana nag-enjoy po kayo. Do let us know what you think. Uh, like the video, share the video, and put the comments below. Tell us what you think. And uh, thank you. Um, we'll see you in the next episode. My name is Zach Lucero. Always remember, Yamaha revs your heart. Don't miss the Yamaha Grand Prix in SM City Cebu this coming May 19th. Cheer on McKinley Kyle Paz and Masato Fernando as they represent the Philippines at the Asia Road Race Championship in Suzuka, Japan. Watch out for the Yamaha Club as they head to the Luzon Loop this coming May 18 for the first ever Tour de Rev.